Some of my favorite activities at camp were volleyball and paddle boarding and tubing. Tubing, kayaking, and aqua jump. Football, basketball, water polo, and volleyball. I see God move every year at camp um, in ways that are, are both predictable and unpredictable. Um, the predictable ways have to do with the fact that we're getting away from our normal life. You know, I think about in the Gospels, you see Jesus living out this rhythm of engagement and retreat. And he engages in ministry and then he goes out into the wilderness uh, to be with the Father, to recharge, to pray, uh, to worship. And, uh, and that's what we do when we come to Camp Cherokee. We're literally going out into the wilderness to pray, to worship, to recharge. And so when you do that, when you take time out of your normal life and, and get away from that and sit in silence, uh, sometimes solitude, and seek the face of God, you shouldn't be surprised that He's right there waiting for you. It's just that uh, an environment like this peels back the noise and allows us to focus our hearts and minds. You know, unexpected ways from our human perspective, I, I suppose you see kids that, you know, just on the outside seem so far from God. Kids that you think are just, there's no way they're gonna go forward at the end of the night. There's no way during the course of the week they're gonna raise their hands in worship. There's no way they're gonna come to you and ask you to pray for them. And yet year after year after year, that's exactly what God does. So Camp Cherokee, I think, is a way for kids to silence the noise in their lives. I think more than ever, that's so important. This week I have seen kids that have experienced God in a new way, and I've seen those who have experienced Him for the very first time. And so everything that they are learning, hearing, um, everything that the adults are pouring into them uh, is helping set the foundations um, for how they're going to build the rest of their lives. And I think that is one of the most important things that I can do as a Christ follower and a leader. Whenever Pastor Justin and Pastor Kelly was just like asking us like if we have something on our hearts that we need to let go of and just give it all to God and just let Him take care of it, I really felt Him tugging at my heart to just stand up and go for it. And I was like, I want to get baptized. So I'll be getting baptized tomorrow. And I'm really excited and really grateful that God answered my prayers and I was able to get baptized. The Holy Spirit has moved um, in ways that honestly I've never seen before. We've just felt His presence. And honestly, as a worship leader, you can kind of feel the shift in the room um, just when the students really start to get it and it clicks. God has moved in my life. He has come into my life and He's helped me take my next step and I am now saved um, and I am about to get baptized. Uh, one thing I wasn't expecting this week was um, God calling me to ministry, but I'm glad I followed the call. I think something that the Lord has been teaching me is just that um, he's still moving in this generation, and He's still raising up these kids um, for His glory. I'm excited to see what they do in their generation. It's changed my life, honestly, and I feel like a new person, and I'm so happy that I came. There's never been a year that I've come and lives have not been changed. He just continues to move 